And that's the story we begin with tonight. These envelopes filled with white powder were mailed to multiple county elections offices across Washington. Hazmat investigations are ongoing in King, Pierce, Skagit, and Spokane counties. So thanks for joining us for Fox 13 News at 5. I'm David Rose. I'm Hannah Kim, and Alejandro Guzman is in Pierce County where an envelope was found this morning. But we begin with our team coverage. Lauren Donovan in Renton. We have confirmed, Lauren, that fentanyl was found in one of these envelopes at the King County Elections Office. That stuff is deadly and dangerous. Yeah, it certainly was, David, and the notice came around 1030 today. Someone pulled the fire alarm as per protocol, and they all got outside the building, all 200 plus staffers here. Now, they were out here hanging out for at least three hours. The all clear then happened just before two o'clock, but losing out on three hours of critical work and tight races really cost them. They were supposed to tally up 50,000 votes by the end of the day, four o'clock, but they were only able to count up 20,000. So the days after election day are typically very busy processing days for us. But all that critical work was derailed Wednesday morning when a suspicious substance was discovered in the mail. So we saw the white powder uh, as it was opened. It's immediately isolated by our staff with a hazmat bucket. Eldon Miller was working away on the second floor when suddenly things went sideways. Uh, the fire alarm went off. Uh, immediately we knew that something was going on. Eldon and 200 plus election staffers evacuated into the parking lot. For hours, they remained held up outside. It's pretty significant for us here today. Of course, we would be hard at work, very busy upstairs, uh, all hands on deck processing ballots. Police, fire, and sheriff's deputies rolled in. Tape marked danger cordoned off the building as hazmat crews investigated. Our crews were able to go in with special technology to determine uh, if what the substance was. Traces of fentanyl were discovered, but initial tests revealed the powder does not pose a threat to the public. The envelope wasn't fully open, so we don't know whether there's a note inside it or not. It was only open far enough for the worker to realize uh, quite wisely that it wasn't something that she wanted to mess with further. Renton PD tells me that evidence has since been tightly sealed. The FBI is scheduled to pick it up for further testing. It's disappointing, uh, but, you know, in the climate that we're in, a lot of things nowadays are very disappointing. We're going into a presidential election. Uh, things are only going to get crazier, possibly, hopefully not. But, you know, getting into this, you kind of know what to expect. Threats to our election system have been front of mind for Washington Secretary of State Steve Hobbs. Tuesday, he sat down with our Good Day Seattle team, sharing details of past election attacks that mirror today's mailed threat. We've had to deal with cyber threats. We've had to deal with white powder being mailed to election offices. In fact, here in King County, uh, they had um, fentanyl mailed. And in Okanagan County, shut down those offices for a, for a few days. KC Election Headquarters confirmed an incident back during the primaries prepared them for this. We have had this incident with the threatening letter in August, but we had not had a white powder or threatening letter um, like that in many years. As for who's actually going to track down this letter, where did it come from? Renton PD tells me those are questions the FBI is likely going to have to answer. As mentioned, the FBI is involved in this now. Is this part of a bigger trend? We know other county offices here in the state were targeted. So I think that's the question on everybody's minds. Is there a connection? For now, we're live in Renton. Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.